Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I am back with our Wednesday Craft With Me Bible Journaling Project. So this is my pocket Bible journal and I am super excited. Um, I've got something coming in the mail that I think you guys are going to enjoy and I hope you'll enjoy. And I wanted to base our Bible journaling off of um, this particular week. Now, this is a New Testament only. And I really wanted to journal the Psalms 23. Unfortunately, whoops, this little cute thing does not have Psalms 23 in it. Because, like I said, it's New Testament only. So I decided I would go ahead and go with the 2 Corinthians. Um, so what do you do when you don't have what you want to use? Well, either you say, okay, I'm happy, or you go and you buy one. Um, and if you don't already have one in your stash to wear a Bible with a, an Old Testament in it. And so, um, but I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about um, faith is rewarded with comfort. I'm going to put that here and then I'm going to refer to Psalms 23. So, you know, there's more than one way to skin the cat, right? Um, I know that's not very nice to say it that way, but, oh, okay. So in my Bible journaling, I use yellow when it talks about the Lord. Um, so this is a praise be to God. And so I am going to go right here to one, three, and four, and I'm going to read it. Um, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the constant, uh, with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So, um, let's pray. I'm going to come back, I'll highlight, and then I'm going to show you a different kind of Bible journaling today. And it's not the major, we're going to keep it really simple, but I just wanted to show you guys something different. Okay. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time with my friends today, God. What a great faith lesson this was this week in knowing that you are the God that you reward us with comfort that you want to bless us, that you want to encourage us with your comfort. And God, what an amazing God you are. Lord, you've given us all the tools and all the way and all the, the encouragement that we need in order to serve you well, Lord. We just have to have faith. We have to have faith that that's what you're doing. And we have to trust you. Lord, let this time be your time. Let this um, Bible journaling be your Bible journey and let, let it bring praise and glory to you. Let it be pleasing to you and let our love for you show as we journal in our Bibles. Lord, we thank you again for all you're doing. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Okay, friends. So I'm going to go ahead and I could break this verse down, but I'm going to be really honest. The font on this is tiny. So when I go to my regular Bible, I'll break it down the way I would normally break it down with highlighting. But this is a praise. So we are praising God for all that he is doing. And we are, you know, we're, we're stating the obvious that he is um, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. What a great um, tribute to God. And it goes on to say, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's amazing when we think about that. And we, and we talked about that in our, um, in our Bible study lesson as well. So, um, I, I went through my stash and I found some fun little stickers that I got on Amazon. And this one says, even though I walk through the valley of death, I walk through the darkest valley, I will not fear, for you are with me. Psalms, pardon me, 23, 4. I also chose, I am with, I am a child of God, pardon me, and God is making a way. I may put that in there. And then just a pretty flower that says, trust in the Lord. So um, I felt like that all kind of went together today. Uh, or, you know, sorry, I'm filming these in the same day. So that kind of went together with all that was in our um, our, our journal this week. So our, our study. So right now I did not plan on one thing, but I'm deciding to kind of switch it up a little. So <laughs> to 
bear with me one moment. Um, I am just never quite satisfied to leave well enough alone. I just want to do more and change more and do all these things. And I recognize the thing I was looking for, I put over in the Bible journaling camp stack. So let me see if I have anything else I can utilize. And I'm pretty doggone sure I do. So, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and that you have pulled out your Bible and you are doing your Bible journaling with me while we are together here. I do not want you guys, uh, you know, I want you to feel like you can do it as well at the same time. Yay! This is the one! This is the one that I have pulled out for you guys. Oh, for goodness gracious sakes alive. Isn't God good? I put the whole box over there and there was the one I had pulled out to show you guys in some kind of project. Oh, don't you love when things like that work out like that? That is so funny. Um, that Those are the things that I just go, okay, God, you had a plan. I need to not worry. So anyways, and right now we have tons going on here. I mean, I can't hardly get videos done for people calling and needing something. So I am excited that we can hopefully kind of get through this and, um, and enjoy our time together and that no one will call. Yes, I said it. No one will call, Lord willing. So, um, yeah, yeah. You know those days, right? Where you, you love your family, but they just wear your phone out. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm wondering if I could even do something like that. Okay, we're going to work on that. We'll see. All right, so I am going to put this little seed packet that I have folded down, and it says grow with love on that little um, flap, but I am going to attach this first as kind of a flip, and that will just give me a little bit more room to write because I definitely want to write, but I also want to, um, I don't know, some days I just like interactive. How do you guys feel about that? I kind of like it when you can, you know, uh, have something that kind of gives you a little, little motion and, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just something about that, but anyway, so you can use a regular like leftover envelope from your, um, mail and I save tons. I have literally a basket here to my right that is filled with envelopes from mail. And because we pay everything by bill pay. So I, you know, I feel bad unless I'm recycling those. I really just want to make sure that I find a way to use those. And how else would I do it but in journaling? You know, Bible journaling, um, journal journaling, the whole thing. So, um, but there we go. It's not perfectly straight, but it doesn't have to be straight, right? Isn't that the beauty of journaling is that we don't have to have it perfect we can just have it um in a way that we can utilize what we're doing um i believe this washi is from archer and olive a matter of fact pretty much think it is so okay i love that i'm already happy i'm already excited i do want that scripture at the top like i said i found these on amazon they were super inexpensive and I got a whole little package of them, and I've been using them. So um, I I love things like this. It makes it quick and easy. This is kind of a cross reference for that scripture. Um, it's a cross reference, or it's a reference that ties to that scripture from our devotional. And I really love. Um, and I shared. If you haven't watched the devotional TV uh, video, please go watch it because it will talk about why this scripture psalms 23 is so tied to that and i love it personally for for various reasons and then i also love how the writers um, connected those two scriptures so i love this I, it doesn't exactly match but i'm going to wait and see i do love the message that god is making a way and i think that is great i love the message i'm a child of god and that is going to go right there. Um, I really plan nothing except for I'll pull stickers before I get on with you guys. Um, I want you guys to see that this is just the journey. 
And as you journal in your Bible or you journal in your journals, you do not have to have it, you know, photo ready. It is not, um, it is not needing to be Pinterest ready. It is needing to be what encourages you in your walk with the Lord. So, um, all right. And I've got this one last flower that I really want to put there, but I'm not sure. I wish I could hear your voice right now. I wish I could hear what you're telling me because I have a feeling that you guys are telling me yay or nay. I can't cut off that because I love what that says, but I do have an idea. All right. So I am going to peel this and I just put my scissors up. So I'm going to pull those back out and I'm going to peel it down to about here and let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a little handle. Yes. So let's see here. And I may have to adjust it a little bit more, but I'm okay with that. So hang with me. Just trying to, it's not going to be a perfect cover up, but I am. Wait, let me make sure I don't get, I want to let love grow to show. So sorry if my big head is in the way. Um, <laughs> big old head. Um, my, um, who was I? I don't know. I mean, I just grew up. My dad had a big head. I got a big head. What can I say? It's just one of those things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. You can also glue, you can glue this. Matter of fact, let's do that. I was just going to put, and I may put washi over it still, but you can glue this to make sure that it stays a little bit more firmly. Um, okay, guys, hang with me. I am working through all my glues right now. I'm using up every last little glue that I have in my stash before I buy any more glue. Because I know when I get out into that cottage, there's going to be more. Yes, I know. I said it. There is going to be more. So, and some glues don't do well in the winter. Um, the craft glitter glue definitely doesn't. So, I don't want to be silly and think that all that glue is still good, but I do want to use what I can. And even if that craft glitter glue thins down, you guys can still use it, you know, for other things. All right, let me get a little wipey poo. So I can get all this glue off my fingers before I make an even bigger mess because we all know I can. Um, now, I do want to talk about this scripture. I don't want to be just silly today because we are working on the craft, right? Um, you could come back in here with gelatos. You could come back in here and do all kinds of color in there. I'm not going to today. Um, to be quite frank, I have a lot I have to do today. So there are days like this in our journaling that it's okay. It is okay to say, mm, don't have time for that today. It is okay. So I'm just going to kind of finish that off like that. And let's see if I can do this. I've kind of gotten it in a odd spot, but it's my spot. Let me see if I can get it. Have y'all ever seen, um, please don't, uh, don't eat the daisies with uh, uh, Doris Day. There's a lady on there and. She's not very friendly. She talks about, well, it's your spot. <laughs> In other words, it's your mess. Um, I absolutely, shockingly, really like that. I hope you guys do. So, I love this. So, I am also going to get a little card and see what will fit. So, well, I like to do the good stuff. Hmm, best friends. Okay. I kind of like to do the good stuff. Let's see if there's anything. Life's a bowl of cherries, and this is just an authentic little ATV, isn't that what you call it? Um, card, ATC, La Bella Vita, Be Yourself, This, Hello There, <laughs> More Good Stuff, If the Crown Fits, Wear It, There You Go, I like that one, What's on the back side, Be Beautiful, that's what I'm going to use, um, and you're probably going, well, how is that going to fit, Chris? Well, it's not. I'm going to have to make it fit down, right? So it's not a problem. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it. Wait, let me see. Do I want it to go that way? Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. And this will be my journaling spot. I can journal in here. 
which is good news, because guess what? <laughs> I bet you know, those of you who are here are going to know, I'm going to put that in there. And you can use a scrap of paper. You can use anything you have in your stash. You don't need... Um, you don't need stickers, you don't need special envelopes, you don't need special cards, you don't need special washi. You can literally create washi out of masking tape. You can literally create washi out of um, um, just a strip of paper that you put glue on. Yes, your scraps. Yes, yes, yes. And if you have good handwriting, you can totally do this. So um, God is making a way. So I'm wondering, I'm going to one second look right here and see if I like it better. And it's not exactly the same color, but I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to do that. All right, I'm okay. If you're okay with it, I'm okay. I was thinking about putting it here, but now I can journal other things on, on that part. So now, so what am I thinking? God is making a way. Ooh, I kind of like that better down there. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Um. So as we go through this scripture, and we went through it in our Bible study, but a real quick recap, praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort. <sighs> One of the blessings and rewards of faith is comfort and compassion. And comfort and compassion that comes from God that we can then pass on to others is what the scripture is saying. Do you believe that? Is your faith walk believing that that is who God is? This is what he is providing for you. This is yours not only to receive, but then to give away to others. Just like any good news. How many of you get a phone call and, and somebody says, Hey, I, I want a gift card for, to go to dinner. You want to go with me? How excited. Wow. You want a gift card? That's fantastic. And then they say, you want to go with me? What? You would invite me? Thank you. And what would you do when you hung up that phone? You'd go tell somebody else. You would go tell someone else, hey, here's this great news. Look what just happened. I'm so excited. Um, these... Hi, friends. This is Chris. I'm sorry I had to like take a break. I'm going to try to put these two together. Um, I had a phone call from a family member. We have a family member traveling right now. And they've already had two flat tires and just, I mean, horrible, like, blowouts at two different times. And the second one, if I understand right, it literally blew the bumper off the back of the vehicle. So it has been a horrific um, out-of-state trip. And so, anyways, y'all please pray for this family member. I can't give you the name, but wow, what a journey. So crazy crazy stuff so when um i got that phone call i knew i needed we, i've been on the phone non-stop for i guess yesterday it was all day yesterday so just really heartbreaking um just really lifelong lesson kind of stuff so anyway so i'm not exactly sure where i was and please forgive me but i am going to leave this area open to journal for any of this other area this is where I'm going to journal this passage. It will be kind of private, and I can still put it in here. If there's not enough room to write here, I can add another flap. I can do all kinds of things. So that's going to go in here. And I just want to go over this scripture one more time in application to um, the lesson and um, in understanding that one of the blessings of faith is it's rewarded with comfort. So I just want us to stay focused and know that one of the descriptors of God is he's the comforter. He comforts us. So that is an important part of his character to understand and our walk with him and that we are to replicate that and give that away to the next person. I love the scripture. It's so good. But um, so I still have the Psalms 23, 4, even though I walk through the valley through the darkest valley, I will fear not, I will not fear, sorry, I have it memorized in a different way. Even though I walk through the, the darkest valley, I will not fear, for you are with me. 
And that is so important. God doesn't leave us. I mean, over and over in scripture, we are told over and over, we are told even in Psalms 23, that he is with us. He is there to guide us. Um, I am a child of God. I'm a child of God. You are a child of God when you accept him as your Lord of your life. And he will guide your steps if you seek him, if you ask him. And he wants to bless you. So, and then I put trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not under your own understanding in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. So as we go through these difficult times, we have to hold tight to the scripture that we, he is giving us and God is making a way. So God has a plan. His gift in our faith journey is his comfort as, as there's a long list of his gifts that he gives us. But these are the things that we can hold fast to, we can hold on to in our walk with him, and we can trust him. So I'm going to pray. I'm going to let you guys go. But we have a little handle here, so you've got to see the technique for that. And then I put a little washi on top of that. We have a little tiny little seed envelope. You can use any envelope. We've got stickers from Amazon, very inexpensive. We've got a highlighter. We've got our washi. We did it on this side and that side in order to hold it well. And that's it. That's it. And then we have one little card that we got out of a little packet. You could use a scrap paper as well. Cut it, fold it, or just, you know, cut it to fit. So it's really a very simple Bible journaling, but it gives us the opportunity to sit and sit with God in our war room, pray and thank him for all the gifts that he gives us and all the ways that he blesses us. So let's pray and I'm going to let you go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so, so much for today. God, thank you so, so much for all that you do for us. Thank you for being the comforter in our life. That our faith, that when we believe in you and we, we are being comforted, we know it's you comforting us. We know that you will comfort us in the difficult times and that you will show us your way and your plan and that we just have to trust you and quit trying to figure it out ourselves. Just acknowledge you in everything that we do and then you're going to guide our paths, Lord. And we know that. Lord, as we think about Psalms 23, what a blessing that is. And um, I just pray that everybody will listen to the Keith Green, um, The Lord is My Shepherd, or the Psalms 23. Um, it is so beautiful, and it's so encouraging. And what a wonderful psalm to have memorized in song that we can sing it to you, God. It is one of my all-time favorites, and I just thank you so much for that word that you gave us. And then you gave it to us in song, and what a blessing that is. And there's other artists who do a variation of that and praise God, praise God. Lord, the best songs are when we sing scripture back to you and when we sing scripture to the, our hearts and we meditate on your word. And Lord, as we go through these difficult times, each of us in our lives and <clears throat> pardon me. And I think of this family member who's just trying to travel across a few States and everything keeps happening. I ask you for your mercy, your traveling mercies, your blessings, your guidance, and your encouragement as they go through this time. And Lord, comfort in the difficult times. And Lord, right now, there are so many here that are sick or are dealing with divorce or they're dealing with a death or they're dealing with a loss of job or the list just goes on right now. It is a difficult time. And Lord, we also pray right now for the shooting in New Mexico. We ask God for for your mercy and your grace and your comfort for these families, Lord. And I heard a mom um, being interviewed today that a bullet went through her one-year-old child's room. And what a frightening thing that is. And I recently read about at our daughter's university that she graduated from in one of the buildings that she frequented often, um, which is an apartment type building, a young man was cleaning his gun and it, the the gun went off and went through the wall and killed a gentleman next door um, who was signed up to go serve in the military and um, was in, in criminal justice. And Lord, what a loss, what a loss, what a horrible loss, what a horrible loss. And and the, the thing that happened in San Marcos, Texas was an accident, Lord. Um, we pray, God, that there would be good lessons learned as well as what has happened in New Mexico we pray, God, that there will be grace and healing and mercy for this young person or this person just walking through a neighborhood and just shooting and just shooting God. Why? I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. But I ask for your comfort right now for these families. I beg for your, your mercy on them and your, your, 
your love to just overflow on them. And, and if they know you, God, I pray, God, that, that they will reach to you. They will look through you. And if they don't know you as Savior, God, I pray right now that they will come to know you in this just terrible thing that has happened in their community. And I pray, God, that, that, um, that they can find comfort in you, in you. Because the world will offer them all kinds of other comfort, but it won't be enough. It won't be what they need, God. And I pray right now that they will seek you in, their, in this terrible time, this terrible time. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We bow down before you. We thank you for everything that you do here. We thank you for Bibles to journal in and notebooks to journal in and, and stickers and art supplies and envelopes and the creative ones that we make and the ones that you bless us with that are just leftovers and other packets. And we thank you for that, God. Lord, as we prepare for Bible journaling camp, I pray that you would bless our hearts, that we would be ready for what it is that you want to teach us. And Lord, that, um, that I can be, be, be um, focused and get everything prepared the way you need it to be prepared. Oh Lord, we praise you right now. We thank you. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, Bible Journaling Camp, May 29th through June 2nd. If you are still interested, let me know. I have a few kits left. Um, you must email me at josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. You can go to josephinesdesigns.com. It is listed below the blog. It, there is a blog posting on that. It will also give you what um, is required in order to receive a kit. You must be 18 years or older. You must be you must live in the United States and you must be subscribed to the channel. If you are subscribed and 18 years and older and you live outside of the United States, I can email you um, some resources. So um, I am having a terrible time with my printer. Um, there's a lot of quick decisions having to be made. It's a brand new printer, so I can't go out and buy another one. Um, there may just be a software glitch that they may have to correct through the company. We're not sure yet. So um, bear with me, bear with me. We're getting there. Um, there will be kits that will go out at the end of this week. You'll still have plenty of time before the 29th. And because um, I definitely want that done before I go camping. So if we get to go camping, we'll see. But um, there's still time. You can still sign up. So and remember, you're probably thinking, well, I don't need to register. I can just watch it here on YouTube. And you can. It will be on this channel for once it's loaded. It's here. You know, it's in the channel. Um, I don't take it back down, but in order to participate in the Saturday gathering on Zoom, you do have to be registered. So, um, you know, and you could also register and say, I don't want a kit. You can do that as well. Um, you can, there's, there's all kinds of variations in this. I would hope you'd want a kit. I'd love to give these away. Um, there's just lots of great encouragements in it and, um, yeah, I'm excited. So, all right, friends. Um, and we're not sponsored for this in any way. There is no one sponsoring us this year in this Bible journaling camp. Um, I just felt like, um, there were some things that I personally wanted to purchase and, um, put in these kits. They're not as big a kit as they used to be, but, um, the kits are, they're a blessing and I'm really excited. Um, so this is kind of my gift to you guys for all, your patience as we went through that season when I just couldn't do Bible journaling camps as often as I wanted. So um, we are committed to two a year right now, a spring, summer, and a fall, winter. And then if time and life allows, we'll go back to the one every season. But in the meantime, that's where we're at now. And I'm excited for the Saturday Zoom. And I'm excited for us to build off of that. And I'll talk more about that later. Okay, friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Like, subscribe, share this video with anyone it might encourage. Um, this is an opportunity for people to get to hear the word. And so I just, you know, I just want to say that when you give it a thumbs up, when you leave a comment below, when you pass it on to someone else, it is an opportunity for other people to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. And I am not, <laughs> I am not smooth. I am not sophisticated. I am just a mom, grandmother, um, retired gal in my house sharing what God lays on my heart. And um, But I hope that it would bless somebody else to come, if they don't know Jesus as Savior, to come to know Him. And if not, um, to grow in their walk. And that would be the main thing here on this channel, to be an encouragement. So um, there are opportunities there for you to share um, and and help others to hear.
about the Lord. So, all right, friends, I love you guys as much as I love you. Jesus loves you so much more. He is here to comfort you, my friend, in difficult days. What a great God we serve. Okay, guys, I'll be talking to you soon. Love y'all. Bye-bye.